This is the submerged competition field. There are 15 missions that can be done in any order. You do not have to complete all the missions. Just try as many as you can in each two and a half minute robot match. Only the score from your best match will be counted. Your robot must start completely inside a launch area and you should program it to return to either home area. You can handle and modify your robot between runs while it's completely inside either home area. Gracious professionalism is how we express our core values in First Lego League. The robot game is an important place to observe gracious professionalism, and the referees will evaluate this for your team at each official robot match. Equipment Inspection Your robot and all your equipment must fit into both launch areas and under a height limit of 12 inches. If it is small enough to fit in just one launch area and under this height limit, your team will score points. Mission 1. Coral Nursery Set up the nursery to grow new coral until they are strong enough for the transport to the reef. If the coral tree is hanging on the coral tree support, bonus, and the bottom of the coral tree is in its holder. If the coral buds are flipped up, Mission two, shark. Track this tagged shark on its journey to new feeding grounds. If the shark is no longer touching the cave, if the shark is touching the mat and it is at least partly in the shark habitat. Mission three, coral reef. Carefully mount the new coral structure without damaging other nearby flora. If the coral reef is flipped up, not touching the mat. If a reef segment is standing upright outside of home and touching the mat. Mission four, scuba diver. Help the scuba diver transport new coral from the nursery to the reef. If the scuba diver is no longer touching the coral nursery. If the scuba diver is hanging on the coral reef support. Mission five, anglerfish. Scare the anglerfish back into its home within the sunken shipwreck. If the anglerfish is latched within the shipwreck. Mission six, raise the mast. Raise the mast to restore the sunken shipwreck and explore what's inside. If the shipwreck's mast is completely raised. Mission seven, Kraken's treasure. Retrieve the chest from the shipwreck to recover a piece of our history. If the treasure chest is completely outside the Kraken's nest. Mission eight, artificial habitat. Rearrange the artificial habitat stacks to create safe homes for sea creatures in this area. If an artificial habitat stack segment is completely flat and upright, Mission nine, unexpected encounter. Investigate the hydrothermal vent and deliver the sea creature that takes a special interest in you to the cold sea. If the unknown creature is released, if the unknown creature is at least partly in the cold sea. Mission 10, send over the submersible. Sometimes you need a specialized vehicle to withstand the immense pressure of the deep. Send the submersible to explore the opposing field's waters. If your team's yellow flag is down, if the submersible is clearly closer to the opposing field, Mission 11, Sonar Discovery. Use the ship's sonar technology to scan the surroundings for nearby objects or animals. If one whale is revealed, bonus, if both whales are revealed. Mission 12, feed the whale. Krill are a whale's favorite food. 
collect the krill and feed them to the hungry whale. Krill at least partly in the whale's mouth. Mission 13, changing shipping lanes. Adjust the cargo ship's route to safely avoid whale migration paths by moving to another shipping lane. If the ship is in the new shipping lane, touching the mat. Mission 14, sample collection. Collect samples and artifacts from different locations in the ocean so they can be analyzed by scientists in the lab. If the water sample is completely outside the water sample area, if the seabed sample is no longer touching the seabed, if the plankton sample is no longer touching the kelp forest, if a piece of the trident is no longer touching the shipwreck, bonus, if both pieces are no longer touching the shipwreck. Mission 15, research vessel. Deliver the samples and artifacts that your team has collected to the research vessel and securely dock it at the port. If any of the following are at least partly in the research vessel's cargo area, treasure chest, trident parts, each sample, if the port's latch is at least partly in the research vessel's loop, precision tokens, the less you interrupt your robot outside home, the more points you will keep. If you interrupt your robot outside the home area, you will lose a precision token. Precision tokens left on the field at the end of the match will result in extra points. Remember to read the Robot Game Rulebook and check for any updates during the season. Good luck!